You go to a club to first build relationships. You build friendship, and then when you build friendship, business definitely will come. So this, this community of people are selling on your behalf because they know you and they trust you. So if you want to grow your business, join an association because that will help you be able to expand and grow and make profits and build the community. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're reaching us from. This is Anthony Jeroge Jenga and today, and this is a business debut. And remember, the reason we're here is to be able to help you grow your business, make a uh, profit and impact the community positively. And today we want to discuss and uh, uh, as a business business person or businessman, what what are, what are the best places to be associated with for you to be able to even realize more opportunities for your business? And uh, I've had a couple of discussions with uh, a few people, especially SMEs, when they're coming up and they say uh, being in a, a certain association is very expensive. For example, you could uh, you could be in a golf club, for example, and uh, the golf club they're probably charging like six hundred thousand a year or you're in a business community and you, you wonder why do I need to pay all that kind of money to be able to be in a community. Uh, and today I want to just to, to explain the reason, it's why it's important for you to be in an association as a businessman. And, and it's very key. And there are very many associations you could find, you could be in a, in a golf club, you could be in a business community like the one I belong to, Business Network International. You could be in the Chamber of Commerce and you could be also in the Rotary Club and you could be in, uh, in very many other like Toastmasters Club and all those things are very important for a businessman. Why? Because that's where you find people who are like-minded. Um, I'll tell you a good example, like uh, I've been, in a, I've been in, a, in a business association called BNI for the last nine years and one of the things I've, I've, I've done, I've been there, I've won, of course, I'm, as a member, I've been able to get a lot of business. In fact, like I think last year, I did about uh, between between uh, uh, 10 million in terms of revenue from that association alone. Why? Because I, I have people who are working on my behalf, looking for business on my behalf. So you're open, you're able to, they're op able to open networks for you. So what, what are the benefits of being in a, in a business club? That's, that's, that's a question number one. Why is it important to be in a business club? One, you find people who are like-minded. For example, I, I'll, I'll give you an example. If I'm in a church community, for example, anybody works in church and we are all uh, one, but um, for you to, to be able to get uh, the kind of people you want to speak to, you find you have to have a, a certain niche. So if you join a golf club, you probably find that person is, is a business person like you or is a senior member of a, of a corporate, corporate or he's a, he's a retired leader in a certain organization. So you'll be speaking the same language. So whenever you talk about, uh, and remember anytime you're in a club, the first thing you do is not look for business. You go to a club to first build relationships. Uh, you could be going playing a round of golf with somebody there. When you're playing a round of golf, you're discussing business. And it's amazing what people do in the golf club. People make a lot of money in the golf club. You could even have paid that 300,000 for membership, but in the end, you've made 10 or 15 or even 100 million based on a connection you've got in the golf club. It's same thing in the business in the business world. For example, if, I, if I'm a member of a, of a community like I am, uh, we meet every week and the purpose of meeting every week, we meet, we have coffee together, we talk together, we find what, what are the challenges we're facing as a, as, a, as a, business, a business community and where are the opportunities for business. When uh, corona had hit and everybody was, was struggling and uh, they had gone health self skelter, there was no business, we met online. We're meeting online saying, so now things are very thick. So how do we work together as a team to be able to help each other grow our businesses? And amazingly, during the season where uh, people were having serious problems, the countries were closing their, business, their, their businesses, hotels were having issues, that's the time we came together and we made a lot of money together as a group. Why? Because we, we were a society where we're saying, where are the, where are the opportunities? At that place is where you're discussing, well, now my, my restaurant has been closed. Let me start selling masks. You say, oh, this is happening in this country now. You find that we are able even to talk to other people outside Kenya who are going through the same problem. But what are we doing? We're exchanging ideas. So when you're, when you're a community, it's important to, to be able to consider the value you get from, from that community. So when you join, one, you don't join to start uh, stressing people about business. You first join to build a relationship. You first join to be able to learn from other people who are in the same space. And when you build friendship, and remember what you say, when you build friendship, business becomes automatic. So uh, so what are the benefits? Uh, just enumerate the benefits of being in a club, in, a, in a, any, any association. One, you get 
people who are like-minded, so you're able to get ideas. For example, once time I was, I was having a big challenge with, a, with, a, with a, one of my partners, the business had started, and I was wondering whether I should close the business or should I, or should I uh, continue, hang on to that business and, and get stressed. When I went and shared with my, with my friends in business, in BNI, then one of them told me, why are you struggling to, in terms of uh, hanging on to this business? Why don't you just open another business and transfer most of all your customers from that business to this business? And that's what I did. I was in a situation where I was, I was very stressed. Now, when you build trust, one of the guys, when I was transferring the business to another business, I had staff. And those staff, I needed to get money to pay the staff. One of the members in, a, in that chapter said, I will be able to volunteer to give you money to pay salaries for those members. Why? Because, for, for staff members, why? Because we had built a relationship. So when you join a business community, the one thing you need to do is to build relationships beyond even talk about business. When you're playing a round of golf with a, with a senior, with a CEO, he does, don't, don't start flashing cards telling them, I'm looking for business. No, no, you play golf, as you talk, you build friendship, and then when you build friendship, business definitely will come there. Yeah. So then the other thing is, uh, uh, you want, so you seek, you, you seek advice from your business partners. They become your friends. So even when anybody out there hears, for example, I run a courier and logistic company. When I'm in, in that, that association with, the, with my friends and whoever I call my the members of that society, anybody who hears is somebody who's looking for a courier business, they always say, I know somebody. So that, can you imagine? We have we, in in my in my in my mem in my club. I have about fifty-four b business owners who do different things, but I'm the only one who does courier. So that means anytime somebody says they want somebody to do courier or a messenger service, they say, "Oh, I have a guy who does this." So this this community of people are selling on your behalf because they know you and they trust you. So that's the other value. So they become your sales agent. So they sell on your behalf, which is very critical. And how much do you pay them? Almost nothing. Do you know, for example, like uh, in BNI, we pay about, uh, I think, 80,000 a year to be a member. That's about 6,000 shillings a month. You're paying CEOs, people who earn 500K, 500K, 100 a million shillings. You pay them 6,000 shillings a month to be able to open businesses for you. So that's the value of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of being in an association. The other value you get is that, uh, for example, like... Uh, in our association, we, we, have, we have something called a, a, a university where we go in there. It's an online university. And all you go there is every, every member of the, of, the, of the club has been able to share their experiences, a lot of uh, data on what they have gone through, the challenges they faced in, in their businesses. We learn on how, how to do issues of networking. So in that, that space where we've built sub, so much data, we're able to get information that will be able to help you Remember, in the, club, in the membership I am in, uh, that club has been there for about 35 years. So a lot of CEOs have thrown, have shared, have shared information of their, their experiences, the difficult, difficulties in, in making money. They have talked about how they have, they have had issues with staff and how they've overcome those issues. So it becomes a place where you, you get a lot of knowledge from people who are like-minded. And because the businesses, most businesses are the same. So you start getting value. That's the reason, that's the important place of being in an association. When I was a member of a Toastmasters club, the one of the things that we're learning is how to be able to be a good speaker. So beyond just learning how to be a, to be a good speaker, it's be also taught how to become a good leader. How do you lead people so that be able, people can be able to channel their, uh, your, you have a vision and you're able to help people be able to rally behind you. That's the value of being in, in, a, in, in, in clubs. Now, the other thing is um, you, you get beyond that, you also like, for example, if I have a project and I have, it's a big project and I probably don't have the the, the technical know-how. Now those people become my, the board of directors. So when I go, I am sitting with with uh, this guy. is an engineer. That guy is a contractor. This guy does uh, does maybe he's a HR consultant. I present my project to them. I tell them this is what I'm thinking about. Now you get this this value for free. Now they all start giving you value. Like for example, when I was when I, when I was developing a delivery app, a courier delivery app, I was exchanging with them ideas, and all of them. Are able to give you valuable information that will helps you go back to the business and be able to to be able to to structure the the product because they become your your your, your go to people and then you design your product. so you get value beyond just that relationship you they become your board of directors that's an amazing uh, product uh, people so that's key and then the other thing is um, you build partnerships the same people um, are, are who we work with 
closely. When I have a project and I need uh, uh, shareholders, they're the same people I go to. I tell them, by the way, I'm, 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 I'm scaling my business. I want to take the business to the next level. Are you interested in becoming part of the business? Those are the values. The first thing they say, yes, of course, because they already know you. So someone will say, okay, I'll put in my, my, my 50K, my 100K, because I believe in you. I believe not in, in the project, but I believe in you. That's the value of being in an association because you're able to, 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 to build partnerships, relationships that, that last for long, and you're talking, talking to people in the same, in the, in the same space. And there's a, there's a book that uh, Ivan Weiser has written called Who's in Your Room? Depending on the person who's in your room, it determines how far you go. So associate with people who, are, who think like you, who have, a, who, have a, who have a positive mindset, who are looking at growing their business to the next level. When you're in that space, then you're able to grow your business. It might be expensive. For example, you might say, uh, why am I paying Why am I paying 100K? Why am I paying uh, 300,000 to join a golf club? But remember, in that space, it's very easy to even make beyond the money you're talking about. Because even uh, one time, there's one gentleman who, uh, part of, the, of my group, I was doing a, a transport job. And this guy gave me credit. I went to him and told him I have an opportunity. I have to move sugar from uh, Bungoma to Kenya and I need, I need uh, seven trucks. He didn't even ask me for a penny. Why? Because a member of the association told me, fine, first to the job. And when you get paid, you pay me. So you build partnerships, friendships, and people who will be able to grow your business. Right now, uh, with Corona having hit and now people are, are talk about global business, we meet globally. Every two weeks we meet with other business people from around the world and seeing what is the opportunity in, this, in, the, in the global space. Now you start to talk about, I want somebody saying I want to move uh, cargo from India to Kenya. Since they know I'm the person who does logistics, we are talking. So the business starts expanding beyond just now the local community, you start building a global community. And that's how people grow. Yeah? When people are talking about uh, there's an election here in Kenya, you're not feeling the elections. Why? Because you're doing business with people outside your space. So, uh, so my encouragement to you is join an association, whether it's a chama, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a business community, chamber of commerce is a great place to be in, uh, Kenya Private Alliance is a good place to be in. Why? Because you also get people who are doing stuff. If you're in manufacturing, join the Kenya Association of Manufacturers. Those people will be able to help you be able to even advance your policies, issues that you're facing with government. They stand on you. They help you even be able to advocate for issues like those. Great. So great. So my name is Anthony Jorge Jenga. I hope that has been helpful. So if you want to grow your business, join an association because that will help you be able to expand and grow and make profits and build the community. Thank you and uh, God bless.